Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode on our Barney family YouTube channel. And as you might have seen lately, we're sort of getting right back to sort of fishing videos and motorbike vlogs. And of course, the big thing for us lately has been the wild camping. So we've already had a bit of a test overnight up at Loch and Dorb, which is previous videos. And um, I think the only major issue we had was the just the storage space. You know, it was a bit cold, we've got a couple of things sorted out there, a couple of comfort things for David and for Emily. But guys, what I really want to do is build a cabinet for in the back of the Land Rover as a storage. So that's what we're going to crack on with today. And look who's just turned up as per usual in these videos, you guys. Hey, Bailey. So we Jack Russell Bailey. I can't remember how old she is now. Seven or eight months, I think. Hey, you going to come wild camp with my dad? Hey, go fishing. Be my fishing dog. Yeah, so obviously we've still got the wheels to paint on the Land Rover and stuff, guys, but obviously we've got the roof tent up now, and we've got the big storage box up top, which takes a lot of stuff, you know. Perfect vehicle for the job, this thing. You guys that are familiar with Land Rovers tend to be very, very spacious, which they are. Obviously we've got the, the drivers and passenger, and then you've got the back here for the kids, but we've also got these seven seats here. We've got these two. I don't want to take these out to put this part in, but um, as you can see by the boot itself, you've got a fair old height. You know, right up to where the fishing rods are, but there's nothing in between, you know, so everything sort of gets piled up. So the plan is to build, a, it's about 200 mil high, it's to build two big drawers into there. And that two big drawer guys are going to get rid of all the stuff in here, basically. You know, you've got the, oh me, what have we got? Well, that's the fishing bag for starters. But, uh, you know, jump lead cables, with straps, we've got extra petrol, extra diesel. All that's our tools in there, eh, compressors, and we've got um, what you call it, the socket set. Obviously, we've got the generator as well. It's handy for when we get in the quad bikes. We can keep keep fuel in the vehicle as well, you know, just for the quad and the boat and all that sort of stuff. But as you can see, guys, plenty of room for that, but it's just really messy. So what I'm thinking of doing, let's get this out the road. What I'm thinking of doing is building in. It'll be about this high. Two big drawers like that. One there and one there. One of them is going to be for all that tools. That gets rid of that bag there and most of that bag there. This side here will be for all our camping gear, kettle. I'll show you all that very shortly. But basically, as once we're done, I'm hoping to have a bit of a shelf up on here too. So I can slide in the fishing box into there, anything else, and even put stuff on top. And that should be a lot neater. Right, so guys, from the sort of end points here, that's about the most bit that protrudes into here and between here and here. Very simple, a metre. And again, guys, I just want to bring it just up above this, uh, just up above there a little bit, you know. Yeah, and with that, guys, pretty much 500, that takes us up there. So it's 500 by a metre, and obviously we have to go in depth now. Now, I want to keep this on here, guys. If you've got stuff like this in your boot, for example, you can imagine if the worst was to happen, you have an accident, all the stuff, tools could go flying over into there, you know, and become lethal projectiles. So that's why we've got this old dog guard up, just to keep it in place. Good place for the sea fishing rods as well, actually. But obviously, guys, with this part here, it's coming up at an angle. So I really want to just have it, you know, whatever that is from there, maybe out to here. And obviously I have to watch for this door pocket coming in. Yeah, so I just checked and re-double checked all those measurements. I don't want to build this flipping thing and then not be able to get it in. And obviously 200. That's how high it's going to be, so not much at all, really. Does that give me enough room to get the fishing bag in there? That's the question. Fishing bag is 35, say, 36. Hmm, 360. Might not give us enough to even get that in there. You know, someone, guys, we're going to go 560, actually. You know, we've got the two drawers in there. That's the main bag I've got to store in there. And obviously up on top, we're kind of the kayaking gear as well. So, yeah, no, I think that's going to be good. Yeah, so back in the house, guys, and as you can see, the kitchens really came along well. We've still got little touch-ups to do. There's a wee knob that needs to go up on there. We'll, we'll paint all this in the end, I think, you know, the actual bits and pieces. But, guys, pretty much there. And this breakfast bar has just been awesome to have. I'm really glad I built this now. This wasn't here before, you see. But, guys, basically, this is going to be it. I'm not going to I'm not going to sh show all the cutting up of the wood. That's pretty boring, but I will do most of the putting it together. But basically, guys, when it comes to height, this is our tallest thing. You know, they can lie flat down. They'll be absolutely fine. Cups are quite tall. That's quite tall. But what I want to do in the drawers, guys, on the right-hand side, uh, right-hand side, left-hand side, oh, my goodness, left-hand side, is have all the stuff that I don't want to take home with us. 
you know, the uh, cutlery and all the bits and pieces. When we've had a meal, we should really be cleaning it all anyway and putting it away. And the idea is, guys, that once we've got all the stuff in the car, all the tools, all the stuff in the roof box, all the stuff in the back of the car, that all we should need when we go is clothes and food and get out of there. You know, that's it. You know, otherwise it's just it just be so difficult getting set up and ready all the time. So this is the idea behind the box. And of course, guys, what we seem to have, it's only a metre across. We're going to change this up to 560. I think we'll go that little bit higher just to get the fishing bag in. And we'll go 600 deep. That's about as deep as a dare. You know, but obviously this will be way, way down. 200 mil. So we're going to have two drawers like that. So I'm going to get some wood ready for this. Right guys, let's take a little look at where we're at now. We're not, I'm screwed all everything together, I'm just trying it out. So this drawer guys has basically emptied that bag and that bag. Check it out. All our stuff in here we need, that's all the tools for caravan and quad biking. And going out in the boat, two stroke oil for the quads, petal filler. But the, these are brilliant guys, you know if you've got trailers and caravans, just if you have to stop. A chalk under the wheel. Socket set, always awesome guys, and uh, obviously the jump leads there. But when it comes to tools guys, what you're really best doing is trying to get multi-tools. You can see like this one here, and it's got all the different screwdriver heads in one, you know, so that, that saves you carrying all that about. But yeah, and I was half thinking I'm putting a drawer up top now actually, you know that? And leaving that as a big gap inside. I'll have a think about that, I'm not sure. But it might actually be the better way to go. Yeah, you know something, guys? This is for chatting here. Look, these are always good things to keep in the car. Look, anti freezing coolant, good for the, the radiator, obviously, in the winter and the summer. Tire weld, just in case we get a puncture or two punctures, even. And this stuff is really good. I haven't used this for a while, but radiator leak repair. And that'll do as a temporary sort of measure to stop the leak, unless it's a major leak, obviously. But uh, it's a long time since I've had to use that. Yeah, I'm thinking of another drawer up top. You know that? I think that'd be pretty cool. The young man is back. He's on the job. Thank you, son. So this is like the middle shelf, isn't it? This is the middle oh. shelf for it now. Right, so guys, what's the next part in now? Obviously, we need a, a bit to go in this middle part here, and I think I'll have to make a couple of new fronts for this as well. It'll look a bit better. That's the middle shelf in now. And as you can see, guys, if I get right down here, we've actually got a gully along the back. And I reckon in there, if we drop the seats down, I can put all the fluids in the back there as well as a socket set. Right, so guys, it's now covering time, I think. But these drawers, these fronts aren't right. I'm going to have to uh, sort that out. But I'm going to show you in just a little while, guys. What we're going to do is cover these sides before I screw it all together. We're going to cover the sides with tarpaulin. That side, that side, and of course that, that bit. And of course a bit in the top there as well. Yeah, so back in the kitchen then, guys. And what we've done is I've bought like a heavy duty tarp. And what we're going to do is iron this out and then place the pieces that we're on top to, you know, cut round. And then we'll glue them. So as you can see guys, we've got some uh, spray glue, just contact adhesive, hopefully that'll be okay, it should be, and uh, obviously staples to staple underneath. Yeah, so just going to get the tea towel onto, I would imagine that would burn quite badly, I wouldn't want to do that, but it's just to get these unsightly bits out. So I've got my lovely assistant Sharon helping me out here, you guys, let's see, so this is like uh, just adhesive glue, let's see, is it going to work? Time's up here. I wonder. Mm. No. It's maybe gonna take a wee need staples at the same time. Yeah. Right, guys. Since it's spun over now, um, as you can see, we've glued it down, and now Sharon is doing the corners for me because I'm useless at that. Yeah, so we're shifting through it now, you guys, and as you can see, we're just getting the tarpaulin on now onto this. This is the middle section. We've actually got only got a couple of bits to go, but boy, oh boy, guys, it's looking good. We're getting there. So guys, getting there now, as you can see, um, the drawers obviously have just been sort of mashed together at the moment, but they seem to be fitting really good guys, but look at this eh, really nice. I think I might just get this section out of the car now, and then put the top part on. On to the drawer fronts, because the, uh, I think the, the front of those drawers wasn't very nice at all, you know. So what I've done guys is just got some really, really thin plywood like that. I'm just going to make a couple of covers using this which isn't obviously metal rigid metal it's actually just the, the sticky stuff 
I think what we'll do is if we cover that like a Christmas present sort of thing and then we can just screw it straight onto the Land Rover and that should look awesome guys. Well that's one done. That's looking okay. I'm quite happy with that. kind of looks like a bit of metal doesn't it? Sort of. Couldn't have known any better. And again we'll just screw them onto the front of the drawers um, on the Land Rover. Maybe one there and there as well actually. I made my decision before filming there actually but I was just wondering whether it would go with like a you know, like a, a, a nice little washer like that with a screw or the big sort of penny washers it's what I call penny washers and uh, I think that would look really good six maybe four in that one just to show this is the bigger one maybe I think we went the right way I think so eh? that's looking pretty cool one two three four five six and then four in that one there and that'll screw straight onto the front of the drawers Right, so guys, we've popped off down to the clodder for the car. Well, look at this. Look at the water today. Just parked up down there, guys. We'll get back to the Land Rover in just a minute. But I was just wanting to check the the height of the river. It looks like there's a lot of water going down. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's a lot of water today. Well, guys, I think for this year, I'm going to think about getting a permit for this river, actually. This is the River Lossy. It's not the greatest fishing uh, river up here, but, you know, it's close to home. And uh, that pool just there tends to be very, very good. Very productive. And there we go, as you'll see. Yes, in the last part of the video, guys, we're obviously doing this, uh, doing these drawers, and that has worked out really nice. That's really, really nice. And obviously it goes with the rest. We've sort of done what we've, what we've got up there, you guys, you know. But that is looking really good. Again, this has just been MDF, and of course we used the, the tarpaulin to sort of cover it over. Two big drawers, one for uh, camping, one for tools and other bits for the car. And of course up top, guys, we ended up turning the thing out, uh, turning the roof box around on the end, uh, just so we could fit it up on the back of the car. It's much better that way. But basically, guys, you know, we do caravanning, canoeing, uh, boating, fishing, uh, just all sorts of stuff, you know, sometimes we get to pull the caravan, the boat, or the trailer, or something, you know, and that's what we just do for our YouTube channel, you know, so this has been really, really important. But I'll show you where we're at with the drawers first, just a very quick look, guys. You know, these are sort of the basic things, and what we've been trying to do, guys, is try and keep everything to an absolute minimum. And you see these British Army mess tins are awesome, you can actually just cook off a fire with them, or... You know, we can just pour food in, easy cleaned, couple of pans, kettle, you know, that is just spot on. Over on this side, guys, a little bit more involved because, you know, because we're out in the quad bikes and uh, camping and all that sort of stuff, you know, it's really handy that we've got a lot of tools. I think I showed this earlier in the video, but this is the type of thing I'm talking about, you know, having one thing that does ten things just to save weight. Because obviously, guys, weight is a bit of a concern. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. So I'm just going to show you up top a second, guys. Hold on. So, guys, this is pretty much, you know, for a, a longer term, you know, for maybe for five or six days, or we're at a site that's got electricity hookup and stuff. And what we've got in here, guys, just the basics. We've got the electrics, heaters, fridge. In here we've got our blow-up double bed, you know, for the tent itself, gas bottle. Over here, obviously, we've got the... the cooker for, for cooking, a sit-on toilet, which we'll show you another day, and obviously the big tent that comes off the back of the Land Rover. And the big tent that you see up in the top left there, guys, is going to is going to come off the back of the Land Rover. We're going to have to modify it so that I can actually reverse the Land Rover into the front of it sort of thing, you know? I can open the doors and we've got access to that space there. But again, guys, all that stuff up there is for sort of your longer term, you know, five or six days or, or whatever, you know. So up there, you know, you can actually just sort of leave all that. The one issue that I've got when it comes to this lot is the weight. We're going to be doing some off-road videos, so that's quite a lot of weight to have on the top. I think when we do the off-road videos, I'd probably take out as much of the stuff as I possibly could. You know, obviously barring the, the tools and stuff like that, you know. But guys, this is pretty much, I think, all that we're going to need. And for the sort of bottom of the, the drawer, you know, just to give us a bit of impact protection, I bought these interlocking floor mats. You can use it for a garage or, you know, your shed or whatever, you know. And uh, I'm going to cut them and put them in there. But this is really the most important bit, guys, is, the, is these two here. It's got everything we need for quad biking, uh, you know, out in the motorbike, just, you know, just everything, you know. And that's what we're trying to put together. 
Obviously, as you've maybe seen in previous videos, all the fishing stuff, fishing rods, generator just in case. Fuel, really good. Oh, look at this thing. A comp and pee bottle, universal. Really, really nice. And then we've got rope. Oh my goodness, we've got just about everything there, guys. But the idea behind us is that, you know, you want to be able to just go. Food, clothes, drinks, and you're out of there, you know what I mean? that That's the idea behind the camping. Again, longer term, this is more just like for a couple of nights sort of thing in the roof tent. And obviously we've got the caravan trailer, the boat trailer, we've actually now got a new toy hauler trailer. Um, so, you know, obviously straps are very, very important, especially for all the material that we use. But guys, like I said, in here is probably just about everything we need, and this is heavy. We've got compressor for the tyres, and um, we've got um, you know some fluids, more straps, straps, tools, and these again are really handy, you know, just for the trailers, you know, for stopped on a hill or need to disconnect or something like that, you know. And again, petrol for the quad bikes, obviously, a socket set which you just can't go wrong with. And uh, last but not least, this is the thing that I really need to put in. Check this out. A dash cam. Now I don't normally use these guys, but the way that this one works is it's got a rear dash cam, um, a, a rear camera that you can put up sort of anywhere, even on the outside of the door. And that means that having that up there, that means I can see what I'm, what I'm reversing, which is really, really good. Because pretty much, guys, you know, that's taken up the whole of the boot. You know, that's just taken the boot up completely. So you really, really need that, you know. So I would say very neat indeed guys, very neat indeed. A couple of little things I need to do obviously just to sort of tidy it up, but guys it's almost there. And just a wee look into the back here guys, this is obviously behind, you know, get the generator and all the fishing stuff up in there. And obviously I, I maybe need to put a little brace in the back here, but I've still got this little bit of gap, which is awesome. And as you'll see, I've put in the, the jump lead cables. I can put in the jack, I can put in spare water for the, the Land Rover, you know, the radiator weld stuff. And of course we've got our big Barney family YouTube um, tyre hugger for the, the back of the Land Rover. But yeah, once the weather gets a little bit better, guys, you know, in our, our next sort of wild camp, um, I'll really take all the equipment out and show you, you know, if, if that's the type of thing you're into or you're, or you're just starting, you know, maybe you get a couple of ideas from what we've been doing, you know. But yeah, I'm really happy with that, guys, really happy. Very neat indeed. And of course it comes in and out as well, you know. But yeah, look, this is the one thing, look at that. Now that I've put the generator up on there, you'll see it's just slightly bowing. I think I'm going to have to put in a support at the back, but... We'll do that some other day, yeah? So guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. We're going to do a lot more wild camping videos, a lot more um, fishing videos. Obviously, we'll still do the motorbike vlogs and the Scottish Castle tours. David and Emily have got their Barney Family Fun YouTube channel where they do quad biking and all that sort of stuff for the kids, you know. So uh, we're working pretty hard. We're trying our best to get as much content on here as possible, you know. And of course, wild camping is pretty new for us. And I have to say, I'm quite sold on it. I like the caravan with the uh, the toilet, central heating and the cooker and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, you know, once we'd taken this thing up to Loch and Dorb, you know, I'm sold. It was just so, so good, guys. You know, it really was good. And I'm quite glad the Land Rover's back to its kind of former glory. It was obviously a project within itself. Still got the wheels to paint. Might get sort of rock sliders. Maybe need a winch for the front. But, you know, we can do a lot as time goes on. You know, but we're looking good for wild camping, guys. So again, listen, thank you so much for watching and God bless you.